about the physics of throwing discus. Woo! Now we're gonna get some information from a trusted source, Wikipedia. The discus throw is a track and field event in which an athlete throws a heavy disc called a discus in an attempt to mark a farther distance than his or her competitors. It is an ancient sport as evidenced by the 5th century BC Myron statue. Discobulus. Although not part of the modern pentathlon, it is one of the events of the ancient Greek pentathlon, which can be dated at least to 708 BC. It is a routine part of most modern track and field meets at all levels and is a sport which is particularly iconic of the Olympic Games. The men's competition has been a part of the modern Summer Olympic Games since the first Olympiad in 1896. Images of discus throwers figured prominent, prominently in advertising for early modern games, such as fundraising stamps for the 1896 Games and the main posters for the 1920 and 1948 Summer Olympics. The women's competition was added to the Olympic program in the 1928 Games, although they had been competing at some national and regional levels previously. Drawing your arms inward when you spin preserves angular momentum. This is the discus spin. Keeping your arms inward in that throw will help preserve angular momentum in a rigid body. The discus itself is an airfoil. That means it's an aerodynamic object. It's shaped like a wing, the top is curved, and the bottom is flat. So, before we throw the discus, I want to show you guys a little something about projectile motion. Projectile motion is when an object has both vertical and horizontal motion. <laughs> the rock I just threw has both vertical and horizontal motion. I threw it horizontally, but gravity pulled it down at an acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared down. That means that it was falling vertically. Now, let's go throw some discus. <laughs> when I swing back and forth, I am showing an example of a centripetal force. It is mass times acceleration, and it's what makes the discus stay in my hand. The milking action discus throwers do with their hands at the discus's release causes a gyroscopic spinning motion. The faster it spins, the greater its angular momentum, and the more gyroscopic action was tilting or changing its spin axis. This is what should happen in a good throw for the discus to take a straighter path. Bill Nye the Science Guy! Bill Nye the Science Guy!